Hey, Brandon, welcome to Indy. No, I appreciate it. Glad to be here. Uh, first question for me is just, you know, how did this process play out for you? I'm sure Gus Bradley had a big say in it or, or was part of the appealing uh, part of the Colts. Um, did they make a really aggressive play at you? And what was the thing that sealed the deal? Uh, yeah, I ultimately had like three teams um, really come after me. Um, but in my head, I always kind of knew where I wanted to be. Um, you know, I've been blessed with the opportunity to play with Gus and, and Milo for the past past four years going on my fifth year this year. Um, so, man, they, they definitely – it definitely was a big impact on my decision um, on coming to Indianapolis. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the decision. I'm excited to get to work. I got, I'm excited to get to know the culture of the area. Um, I know it has a great culture. I know the fans are, are amazing. Um, but I'm excited to get in the locker room with all the guys, uh, get to know everyone from around here. So I'm excited. Joel Erickson. Hey, Brandon. Uh, was was getting a chance to start part of something that they talked about with you? Um, yes. Uh, but, you know, I just I just come into work and, you know, just from day one, just just try to do what I do. Um, you know, take it one day at a time. Uh, help this team as much as I as much as I can, um, and anything they need of me, you know, what I'm saying I, I I am more than welcome to 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 do that. Um, like I said, so it, it was it was part of the conversation, but you know I, I'm not even thinking about that right now. I just want to get better every single day. Um, like I said, one percent one percent at a time, and you know I just want to do what I can to help this team. Mike Chapel. Brandon, you, you talked about it with your history with the coaches. It, is, it, is it a comfort level? Is it a trust? Is it a confidence? What does that do for a player when you do have that connection? Man, it's all of that. Uh, it gives me an extreme deal of confidence, uh, you know, that they that they trust me, that they love me that much. And because um, it seems like I just keep following those guys around, huh? So uh, it definitely makes me feel good. It makes me, you know, gives me a self of confidence. Uh, and and I appreciate those guys because, you know, I love I love being coached by by Gus and Milo, um, and they've been great, you know, my whole my whole career. And I'm just learning, still learning off of those guys, and and still just trying to better myself every single day as a player, as a man. Um, so I think all those things are incorporated when it comes to when you speak about those about Gus and Milo. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, I'm excited, man. I just I don't know if you can tell. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be to work back with those guys, get in the locker room, uh, meet the new, meet the my new teammates. Um, you know, I've never really been to Indianapolis, Indiana like that. Um, so um, it's just exciting to be here. And I'm and I, you know, I can't wait to to get to just know just the culture of this town. I've always heard of the culture. Um, I know they have great fans. I know it's a football place. Um, but I'm excited to be here just to just to just to find out firsthand. A quick follow up at your here. Bigger than most, maybe I don't know. How do you, do you do you characterize yourself? Are you more comfortable press and cover it in zone? What do you like? Yeah, I'm a bigger type corner, so I definitely like to get in the faces of people. Um, you know, I like to be be up there and comfortable pressing, um, but I also don't mind getting off in zone, playing zone. Um, it's something that we do in this system, so um, you know, it's, it's something that I've grown to get grown to get accustomed to. And I've always been a press corner since my days at Virginia Tech, so. Um, it's just that's just something that that's just comfortable to me. Stephen Older. Hey Brandon. <clears throat> hey Brandon. Um, a similar question to to the one Mike just asked. I was going to ask you, uh, you know, what people should expect from the corners in this system because you've been in it for a long time. Um, just what kind of style do you anticipate? I mean, we know a little bit about you know how how it's played, but but we've been used to a different system here. What should people expect from the corners particularly, and how do you fit well with the type of system uh, that they play? Man, I love this system. Um, give us a chance to make plays on the ball. Um, give us a chance to get, get in, you know, get in the face of receivers and not let them have any easy catches, to say the least. Um, but I think this is going, this is going to fare well for, for all of us. You know, uh, being a part of Gus's system for the past four years, uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I'm still learning, and I'm, like I said, I'm excited to 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 be an aid to, you know, my new teammates and, and things of that nature. So um, I think you can expect a lot from the secondary this year. Um, I think you can expect some dogs to go out there and fight every play. 
uh, tackle. You know, none, none of us, I don't think none of us are afraid to tackle. So um, I feel like we're just up for the task at any at any point. Is the is the pressing a big part of it you know, from from what you know of uh, what Gus has run in the past? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Definitely um, a big part of it. And that's just something that, you know, as a corner, you got to either love you either love it or you don't. So, um, like I said, back when I was in Virginia Tech and I was being coached by Coach Foster and Coach Gray, um, you know, pressing was always like just a it was it's always felt comfortable for me. Um, and I know a lot of those guys that were in the system as well. So I think it'll be the same way over here. Well, last one here, Mike Chappell. Yeah, Brandon, you're you're, you're following Gus and in, in to to Andy. You're also following Yannick. Can you just speak about the? It's an obvious question, but when you get when a when a defensive back's got a, a defensive front that can create pressure, how's that dynamic work for you guys? Man, uh, rush and cover work together. So uh, you know, Yannick Yannick is, is a straight dog. So uh, I think Colts fans can be really excited to to add another piece. Uh, to the puzzle. Um, yeah, man, he's a, he's a great player. And, and I think that defensive front is going to be a lot. So like I said, rushing, rushing cover work together. Um, you know, we help each other out in all ways. Um, when we, when we can't, you know what I'm saying? When they can't get there, we, we cover, you know, and vice versa. So um, I feel like it's going to be a great tandem you know, a great scheme that we're going to get into um, with the Indianapolis Colts. So, you know, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to be a Colt. You, you said you've never been here. I mean, you, you've been to Indy. So. I've been I've been to Indy, but I haven't really spent time okay. in Indy. So like, I haven't really spent too much time in Indy. But you know, it's a new place. I love going. I love traveling new places. Um, I just like smelling the air, getting to know how people operate um, in new areas. And so it's just another place I can just check mark off my list. So um, like I just love. I love. I love. I love everything. So um, I'm excited, man. It's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun year. Um, just getting to know everybody, getting to know, you know, the, the area. And I know it's a beautiful place. Just, just ready to, ready to get, get to exploring, um, just helping this team in any way possible.